two chords of length a unit and b unit of a circle make angles 60 degrees and 90 degrees at the center of the circle respectively then the correct relation is first option says b equals to root 3a second option b equals to 2a third option b equals to root 2a and fourth option b equals to 3 by 2a all right so let's let's uh, draw the figure here so there are two chords of length a unit and b unit right so let us assume this is the circle right this is the circle here it's center o now this is the first chord a unit and let's say the second chord is this second chord is this uh, b unit all right now he says the first chord makes an angle of 60 degrees at the center so you know that this chord will make set an angle at the center right that angle is 60 degrees right this angle here is 60 degrees and the second chord makes an angle of 90 degrees so if you look at the second one this it seems makes an angle of 90 degrees this is the right angle 90 degrees all right and we have to find out the relationship between a and b now see what happens here you know that see from the center of the circle to any point of the circle it is equal to the radius so from o to this point is r from o to this point is also r you getting it let me draw it neatly right and then o to this point is r and o to this point of the circle is also r all these four lines indicate the radius right represent the radius there. now the point to be noted here is if you observe the first triangle here let us give some names right this is like uh, uh, a a dash and b b b dash Right? These are the triangles. Just for the sake of explanation, you need not draw, you need not give all those naming in the exam. The point here is, if you look at the triangle A O A dash, the triangle A O A dash. See, these two sides are equal. A O side is equal to O A dash, right? Or O A is equal to O A dash. Both are radius, right? So these two sides are equal. If these two sides are equal, then these two angles will also be equal. See, already one of the angles in this triangle is 60. So the sum of remaining two angles has to be 120 and these two angles are equal so i can say this also is 60 degrees and this here is 60 degrees are you able to follow so clearly a o a dash will be an equilateral triangle where all the three sides are equal it will be an equilateral triangle which implies this unit a a dash a a dash which is equal to the side of the triangle a is equal to r now focus on the other triangle b o b dash b o b dash same argument again this side is r and this side also is r are you able to follow the two sides are r here length of the two sides are equal which means this is an isosceles triangle so this is r this also is r one of the angles is 90 degrees now because these two sides are equal these two angles have to be equal what is the sum of these two angles 90 degrees how do we know this is 90 degrees because Sum of all the three angles should be 180, out of which 90 is already here. So remaining two have to be 45 each, right? So this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees. You're able to follow. Now the point is, if this is a right angle triangle, B, O, B dash, B will become the hypotenuse. Look at triangle B, O, B dash. Right, this was triangle AO dash. In triangle BOB dash, we can say that uh, B squared, or or I would say, sorry, I would say BOB dash will be an isosceles right angle triangle. Isosceles right angle triangle. Which implies b squared will be equal to the side bb dash b squared will be equal to r squared plus r squared so from this b equals to root 2 r sorry b equals to root 2 r not 2 root r r squared plus r squared 2 r squared so b will be equal to root 2 r now compare the two equations from 1 and 2 what do we get uh, uh, a equals to b by root 2 or b equals to 
root 2a. Right? We can substitute r equal to a here. So b equal to root 2a. This will be the final answer. Option 3. Okay. So is that clear? Option 3, b equals to root 2a will be the final answer. 